Welcome back to Stoppage Time here at Pints and Punditry. And today we're going to talk about Lionel Messi and the ridiculously hot start that he's off to playing for Inter Miami because it's asking the big question, which is, is the success because Lionel Messi is just this damn good or is MLS just this bad? And the answer, of course, is going to be both. Not everything has to be this definitive. We're going to get into that in a second, but before we do, hit that subscribe button for me. Make sure you like the video. Definitely comment on this. I know everybody's got an opinion. Are you a big MLS supporter that I'm, I'm trashing, or is Messi just this good, or I want to hear your comments for sure, and then definitely follow us on Twitter at TotalFIFACM where we can keep the conversation going. The answer is both. MLS is this bad, and Messi is this good. Of course Messi's dominating. He is still one of, if not the best player in the world. He just led Argentina to a World Cup. He's going to be in the Ballon d'Or conversation, or he would have been until he came to the MLS. Maybe he still will. Could MLS have a Ballon d'Or winner? That would be absolutely incredible, considering it's a European football award. But is, is this just because he's this good, or is the competition this bad? And so far, it's got to be both. You know, they played against a, a Ligue MX team, Cruz Azul, who is not good. They're at the bottom of that league. And then he plays against Atlanta United, who is a middle-of-the-pack MLS team. And yes, it's the Ligue's Cup. And that's the excuse a lot of, you know, a lot of people were making on Twitter is, oh, it's not even real MLS action yet. This is the Ligue's Cup. I'm sorry, do the players try less hard? It wasn't like... Atlanta United ran a second team out there. They had most of, if not all of their starters, including most of their most experienced defenders. And they just ignored Messi like this was a Sunday league. I mean, Messi ran and, and, and got behind some really fast players like Miles Robinson, who is a guy the U.S. men's national team is relying on in the future. He's one of our better defensive players, and, and he got torched by Lionel Messi, a, 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 an old guy, right? Lionel Messi is an old guy. He's still absolutely fantastic, but he's not getting by because of speed. He's getting by because of smarts. And the first goal last night was Sergio Busquets just sitting there with the ball, nobody coming after him, lining up a beautiful pass. Messi makes a run, and nobody's within 15 yards of him. I mean, that kind of stuff doesn't happen against good quality experienced defenders. I don't care who it is they're covering, let alone the fact that there is no excuse to leave Lionel Messi that open and ignore him. The second goal was Lionel Messi dribbling down the middle of the pitch with nobody in sight. He got, I think, five dribbles before any Atlanta United defender came over and, and challenged him in any way. They gave him a half-hearted challenge. He, he, he shoves off the pass, hovers over to the middle of the goal. Nobody follows him. This is the best player in the world, and no one follows him. I'm sorry, that's not Lionel Messi's skill. That's terrible defense, right? Messi knows where to be. He knows how to position himself. Credit in the world. Obviously a great finish. But how do you not follow him? This is, this is defending 101. Nobody stays with him. The entire Atlanta United defense ignores the best player in the world. So both, both answers are true. Yes, Lionel Messi is still near the top of his game, and, and even if he's at 80% of what he once was, that still makes him one of the five best players in the world. And so he is not in that retirement phase, which is when other stars have come to MLS. He is so good that his skill level is still better than anybody he's gonna he's gonna go up against in MLS but part of that is because the standard of MLS is just not good enough I know the progress has been made because MLS is getting tons of attention and and tons of publicity and and so their 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 place on the world stage is rising but the talent level is simply not there it's just not there and it's getting exposed big time and that's why this Lionel Messi experiment, for all the eyeballs it's going to put on the league and all the money it's going to make them, could expose the dirty little secret, which is MLS is not very talented. It's not very talented as a league. The best players leave and go over to Europe. And that's going to be exposed continually by this old guy who is still just so good. So, uh, you know, I, I think both are true. Lionel Messi is amazing. I'm not disparaging a thing he's doing. This is not knocking him. He is just that damn good and that damn talented. But he's going to get a major assist from some really bad defenses that he's going up against. And he could go absolutely nuts in this league. What do you think? Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I oversimplifying this? Am I discrediting Messi? Am I just taking a big dump on the MLS? Probably. But is it deserved? I want to hear your comments below. Definitely hit that subscribe button, like the video while you're at it. 
and of course follow us on Twitter. Thanks as always for joining us here on Pints and Punditry. This is Total FIFA Career Mode.